Hi everybody, Brett here from Metropole. Well, who couldn't use an extra ten or twenty thousand dollars a year? Uh, it certainly come in handy for, for most things. But I guess in reality, that's the reason most investors choose the cash flow option. And I think is a real trap at the moment. There's a real danger around those cash flow assets at the moment. Higher cash flow generally equates to um, higher risks, and, and to compensate for that, there's a, there's a greater return. So three things I'm seeing at the moment in, in strategies I'm seeing at the moment that are in trouble. Um, the first one is the Airbnb concept of buying a great property in maybe a good location or a beachside suburb, um, somewhere where you can get a great rental yield because people are only going to rent for two or three nights perhaps. Um, those type of properties are really struggling to keep up at the moment with the borders closed, um, not only to international but also to, to interstate guests as well. And demand has really dropped off a cliff for those kinds of properties and we've actually seen those assets coming back into the normal rental market to secure a long-term tenant. And if that's the case, then they're obviously not following through and, and not achieving the cash flow they desire. So the strategy is flawed to begin with. It all goes well when times are good, but there are times like this, and, and this is when we start to see those higher risks um, cause issues in that type of market. The second thing is student accommodation and people buying properties and changing properties and modifying properties to suit students, um, just to boost the cash flow, to get a short term fix. And there's a real issue with that at the moment also because overseas students and, and national students are, are really not coming to our shores for, for accommodation because the, the universities are closed and um, the, there's uh, border closures and things like that. So those types of properties are really struggling also because the average person does not want to rent those properties. So it's difficult for them to get back into that main tenant space because the, uh, the properties have been you know, changed and modified to stu uh, to, for students. So there's some real issues in those types of cash flow investments at the moment. And also uh, with, uh, with those dual occupancies, which are often in uh, new house and land areas where they're building these dual occupancy properties. The problem is in those areas, demand was quite low to begin with, but now with COVID and lockdowns, demand's actually fallen significantly lower, but there's still a high and abundance of supply in those areas, and there probably will be for the foreseeable future. So I think it's a real important time that if you are considering investing to, to ignore the initial boost, you know, maybe you think an extra 10 or $20,000 will be beneficial, but it's not going to change your life. What's going to change your life is longer term asset appreciation and capital growth. Sure, cash flow is going to keep you in the game, but it's not going to change your life. And we all know you can't build wealth by generating cash flow in the short term. So when you're looking to invest in our markets, think longer term, but also think lower risk and make sure you're in the, the, the right type of strategy for what you're trying to achieve. Thanks for watching.